Hey everybody, it's Shakira and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a video of me struggling to cut this spaghetti squash. Just kidding, we need this squash though so that we can make our spaghetti squash and meatballs. Why is it so hard to cut that thing open? Once you finally get it open, you're gonna scrape out all of the insides of this squash because we need to be able to um, dress it up and bake it up so that we can scrape out the pasta style noodles in the um, cooked squash later on. Make sure you're preheating your oven, 375 to 400 degrees. And we're going to add a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna add some pepper, some salt, and also some garlic powder because I'm obsessed with garlic. And then we're going to flip the squash flesh side down and let it cook for an hour. After you have your squash, into the oven, it is time to chop up the parsley or basil. Basil would actually be a lot better, but the grocery store did not have any. So chop that up and also one medium onion and throw it into a large mixing bowl. To that, we're going to add some black pepper, some more garlic, because again, I'm obsessed with garlic and you're also gonna add a little bit of oregano or whatever Italian spices. Um, you know, you can of course make this your own and then more garlic powder because the girl's obsessed. Here's some pink Himalayan salt. And we are using meat today. Um, oh, that's chili sauce. Just so you know, you can completely take that out or you can, um, you know, add it, see how you like it as well. And it is spicy. So we're using meat today, half really lean turkey, half not so lean turkey, whatever the normal um, percentage is. And we're going to be shaping our meatballs. Now for my vegan friends, use meaty vegetables for this recipe like chunky onions, mushrooms, um, eggplant, zucchini, yellow squash, anything that you like. I make it vegan style all the time as well, but my kids actually really like this. so. Um, you know, this is dedicated to my babies. And so what you want to do is brown the meatballs and you really want to make sure they're completely cooked before you add any pasta sauce. I mean, that's just how I roll. Even though we're going to simmer the meatballs with the sauce, you want to make sure it is completely, completely, can't talk, completely cooked before you add any sauce. So make sure you turn the meatballs um, so that everything cooks evenly as well. Now we're going to add our pasta sauce. That was such a quick, a quick shot of the uh, pasta sauce, but I will link everything below to let you know what I'm using. Um, and I'm using two jars. If you make your own pasta sauce, go ahead, girl or boy. But today I'm using the jar. Um, and I'm also going to add some oregano because you always want to make the sauce your own. We are also going to add some chili. Uh, some red pepper because I like it spicy and you add all of this and whatever else you want to add to your pasta sauce and make sure you give it a nice toss before putting on the lid. Now our spaghetti squash is done. You want to make sure you can pierce the flesh. Um, of the squash and then flip it over let it steam out let the air or the steam air out for maybe 15 minutes so that it doesn't burn your fingers while you're scraping out but just like I'm doing here you want to scrape 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 the flesh and put that in another bowl so that you can fix your plates and the pasta sauce is done we're gonna plate and we're gonna eat and I hope that you enjoyed this recipe I hope that you give it a try don't forget to garnish with some parsley or basil, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.